It's hard to believe, but with just one month to go until that Halloween deadline, Britain is still walking inexorably towards the unknown. Remember Theresa May, the last British Prime Minister, and her mantra? Brexit means Brexit. Well, she was replaced by Boris Johnson and his mantra. Let's get Brexit done. Let's get Brexit done. Get Brexit done. Done. He hasn't made much progress, but he's certainly made a splash. He's lost a disappointed brother from his cabinet, his majority in parliament, and a whole slew of votes. He's purged his conservative party of some of its most distinguished members and been accused of lying to the Queen after the Supreme Court judged his decision to suspend parliament illegal all in aid of getting Brexit done. One more thing, the opposition has boxed him in. They've introduced legislation that will compel Johnson to ask for a Brexit delay if he can't reach a deal with the European Union. I'd rather be dead in a ditch. <laughs> Johnson's critics suspect he still may try to defy Parliament with the help of this man. Rasputin Moriarty, take your villainous pick if you're a Remainer. Dominic Cummings is widely seen as the man behind Johnson's take-no-prisoner strategy, a hero to those who believe delivering Brexit is the people's will. But he's also accused of just plain stirring the pot. We're enjoying this. We're going to win. We're going to leave. Right now, it doesn't feel much like anyone's winning, the mood toxic and much of it being laid at the Prime Minister's feet, aiming wartime words like surrender and collaboration at the opposition. It is Jeremy Corbyn's surrender bill. That's what it is. It means running up the white flag. The bill's shameful. Enter the Incredible Hulk. Johnson has compared Britain's efforts to break free from Brussels to the big green one, saying the Hulk always manages to escape his shackles. Maybe not the best negotiating tactic, but certainly one for the headlines as October 31st approaches. Trick or treat. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.